Hi, welcome home. Welcome to my home tour. And uh, let me start with my name plate here. You can see the name of my house is Manat. And uh, Manat means vicious. And this house of mine is uh, God's own blessing, as I had wished God that please get me a beautiful home. And uh, to tell you more, I have been uh, living uh, in this house for a span of about almost five to six years now. And I'm going to run you through my home. This is the foyer. And uh, this area is more for my formal guests. Like if there's any bank manager coming or if there's any work associate coming, this is where uh, I meet and greet them. So let me start with this beautiful, lovely, handsome horse. This was gifted to me by my friend Pooja. You can see this wonderful curtain. It's made of velvet and it has this Swarovski uh, material border. And I'm a bling person. Like you can see me even right now, I'm wearing bling. My watch is bling, my earring is bling. I represent bling, you can say that. And uh, this beautiful furniture that is made, I'm actually a very creative person. At the same time, I always think about the budgets. How much is it that you're looking at spending? Is it worth it? So the furniture which you would see here is mostly uh, designed by me and it's executed by Lotus Furniture. Let me just show you this. So, like you all know, I had participated in the Kannada version of Big Boss and ever since I've been very inspired by this really high head boards. So like you can see, it's a really high head board behind me. And this is my Big Boss chair, this is my chair. Which is very, very uh, again full of velvet. Like I told you, I'm a velvet fan. And the beauty about velvet is when it gets old, um, you can just get it reupholstered very easily, and the maintenance is very, very easy. So here it is a cute, sweet eight seater, and uh, this is where uh, I spend a lot of my time having my breakfast and everything and these days it's actually my family who sits on the dining table my uh, food and my food habits everything happens mostly in the sofa area so here is my home theater my little home theater and uh, i must tell you about this uh, home theater story of mine so this was originally a bedroom when we bought the house but we broke it into a home theater and uh, i have a bose set up over here and uh, bose has not given me any money to do this video nor has lotus furniture but i'm just giving you a piece of the knowledge that i have so the beauty with bose is if you have bose in your home theater system and if you, you can combine all the speakers using one single application and you can use the feature the whole house becomes like a surround sound house and the beauty about Bose is it never penetrates into others houses it just knows how to restrict itself within the walls so this is one uh, great technology about Bose and I'm a huge Bose fan it's very affordable in comparison to uh, other home theatres so there's so many home theatres in the market where they say that okay uh, we are at 5 lakh rupees, we are at 7 lakh rupees and we don't even know about the brands like there will be some international brands but Bose I think is world acclaimed. Let me just show you the speakers how tiny and cool they are. Look at this. This is my love. These speakers are my love. I have this doll from 2009. My friend gifted it to me. It's really cute and adorable on my birthday. This poo is, he goes back a very long way in my life. I bought him in 2006 
and I think he's my friend. I don't talk to him and all that. I'm not that crazy, but I have some kind of an attachment with him. I bought him all the way from Bangkok. This is gifted to me by a certain friend of mine. His name is John. This I bought it when I went to Australia with my sister. So this is truly my soft toys. Traditional, but believe me, I have some kind of an attachment with it. So yes, after my home theater, let me just show you the space which is responsible. The space which is responsible for me to be really, really fit. So I have made my living area in such a way that it's very spacious. I have not over cluttered it with a lot of furniture because I like open space to walk around. So I have only that much of furniture which is much needed. And uh, like you can see, I have this really large, beautiful mirror. So this mirror is multi-purpose for me. So what I often do is uh, I just pull a chair here from this particular dining and I sit here and this becomes my makeup table. All my makeup and necessary cosmetics for the day or uh, even if I have hairdressers visiting me, all of them come here. One of them is doing my hair, one of them is doing my makeup and things like that. And uh, what happens is uh, we just use this living area, this entire empty space as the entry is right behind. We use this entire space to do my hair and makeup very often. And I have my tripod set here all the time so I can keep uh, continuing to do my live videos. Apart from that, the vision for me to have such a big mirror is because like you can rightly see in this beautiful empty space which is right behind me this beautiful empty space this entire space i use this entire space often for my dance at a base i use this entire space often just to lay my yoga mats over here do my yoga postures right in front of the big mirror and uh, I just use this as a multi-purpose area all the time and uh, it's uh, very very practical that you know for anything or everything you have enough space in your home so this is more like my semi studio in the midst of my hall all thanks to the big mirror it makes my life very very convenient this red sofa area again this is a velvet sofa like you can see and again this is from lotus furniture even my home theater furniture is from lotus furniture so you can see a lot of bling you can see a lot of velvet beautiful velvet and uh, you can see a lot of bling i told you the bling bahut acha lagta hai i truly wholly solely love bling so this is one area where I spend most of my time in and this is my corner in the house. Like there's one corner which every human being belongs to in your house and this is my corner. What I do is even if it is my office work, even if it is anything or everything, I have my computer set right in front of me. So what I often do is my staff is in and around me in this red sofa area and I'm sitting here mostly like this i love this position you can also see my fan i'm very passionate about fans so you can see it now yeah so now i've technically put it off but however when you happen to see it it'll just close like a flower like a beautiful flower And even this is not very expensive, it's from Amazon. They say drinking water in copper is very, very healthy. So here is a copper vessel, which matches my interior because it has a lot of gold work on it. So for me, the color palettes of the house is very, very important. Like when you uh, examine this entire block of my house, it's mostly reds and gold and a little bit of a white you will not find any other new color here and i won't allow any other new color very easily whereas the other corner was more of beige 
and gold. So I'm very uh, conscious about the color palettes, not more than two, three colors. More than two, three colors in one corner of the house makes it look like a Christmas tree, which I'm not a very big fan of. So I play with color palettes and yet I make it look bright with two or three colors. So now let me take you into my guest room. So these particular posters which you're seeing, I went as a guest uh, to Dr. Batra's exhibition. And uh, while I went uh, for this exhibition, these pictures are shot in Venice. And uh, Dr. Batra happened to give this to me. Many thanks to him. It's really um, complimenting my kitchen. So this is my dry kitchen. So I spent a lot of time doing the interiors of my house. While uh, I started doing the interiors of my house, I had no experience at all because I'm not an interior decorator. Plus I was shooting, I had a lot of work and on top of which, on top of all this, uh, I'm very, very choosy as a person. This is my breakfast table. This is where I quickly eat actually. This is where I sit and I quickly eat. The reason I don't sit on a dining table is because if I sit on a dining table, I end up eating a lot of food. So, but whereas if I sit on this table, which is my breakfast table, I would just probably have a snack or two and then I'm good to go. And uh, that keeps my weight in control. So, eating on the breakfast table is one of the uh, best ways to control your uh, appetite, is what I would say. Now, let me take you to the kitchen which handles all the cooking of the house. So this is my kitchen which handles all the cooking of my house. You can see there's something which is getting cooked also right now. And uh, this kitchen is completely dark in color because when you're cooking, if you have haldi in your hand, you suddenly turn something on top. That haldi stain will just stay there permanently. Or when you're handling the handles, you can come to the handles. When you're handling the handles, even if you have masala in your hands, still there's no issue. It's completely wearable and terrible and it can tolerate all the Indian masalas, all the Indian packing food, all over it messed up. And like you can see the slab of this particular kitchen is black in color. Like you can see I have all kind of toasting machines here. And I'm somebody who's very organized. You can, and my house is always like this. It's not that we're shooting today, and today my house is like this. If I pick up something from one particular area, I want it to be kept back over there. And I like everything to be concealed. See, like you can see, everything is concealed in my house. I don't like anything to be uh, overly seen, which is uh, why I see everything is set organized this is how i like to live and i like to live in a dust free house because i am semi asthmatic so even a little bit of dust leads me to wheezing so i really have to take care of myself because i have a dust allergy and uh, this was my detailed dry kitchen tour and wet kitchen tour semi storage area of my house So this area, like you can see, I have a lot of my things which I probably use occasionally. You can see right now, I have a couple of more ration kits lined up. And right on top, you can see Sanjana Galrani Foundation, the poster. Whenever we require it, we definitely uh, pull out the poster whenever we require it. And um, then there's some cooking oil. All this is for charitable purpose. So we've kept all this for charitable purpose right here. And this corner is a little bit in a mess always because this corner is also used by my staff. And uh, my staff often uses this corner to come sit, finish all their work and leave. And uh, that's about it. Uh, let me just uh, run you through my guest room. And finally, I'll run you through my own nest, my bedroom. Hey guys, welcome to the last segment of my home tour. So here we have a shoe rack, lots and lots of shoes. This has my workout shoes and this has the shoes of my entire family. And I like these imperfect things about the house that suddenly there's so many shoes kept in the house. I think these things is what 
makes a house a house everything doesn't have to be very very perfect sometimes so this particular washroom is attached to my hall so any you every guests who come they don't need to go into my bedrooms to use the washroom they have this washroom and this is by Versace like you can see the uh, logo of Versace over here I'm a huge Versace fan like you'll see Versace bed sheets in my house you'll see Versace washroom in my house you'll see golden taps in my house you'll see um, golden hair faucets in this particular room like I told you gold is my fourth most favorite color and yes let's just go into the guest room my little guest room this beautiful bed is by Lotus Furniture like I told you earlier time to <laughs> this is my shoe collection. I used to have a crazy fetish for shoes because every press conference or every um, particular uh, uh, event, I might just repeat a costume out of the blue once in a way, but I will never repeat my shoes. So I needed more shoes and I needed more shoes and I needed more shoes and this is what it ended up in. And during the lockdown, don't ask my agony, I can't even wear them. And I'm pretty tall. I'm pretty tall. So for my day-to-day -day life, I don't really wear heel shoes. I wear only my flat shoes. So there'll be another story where I'll do a detailed story about my shoe collection, a detailed story about my cosmetic collection, skin regime, hair regime. It's all coming up soon on my YouTube channel. So let's go to the attached bathroom. So here it is. And it's done up in a very organized area. Like you can see, this is my shower area which is the wet area which is concealed this is the washroom area which is semi-dry and this area is the shelf area and also the dressing area which is uh, completely dry so it's dry and semi-dry and no sorry it's dry area it's semi-wet area and completely wet area but however, the bathroom is divided into dry bathroom and wet bathroom. This part of the bathroom never gets wet. It's as dry as my room. That's the discipline we all maintain at home. Every bedroom has well-matched carpets. And this bedroom of mine is particularly gold and cream, like you can see. So you can see a lot of gold happening. You can see a lot of cream happening. And you can see brown, of course. So this is my Versace fetch sheet. I remember buying this six years ago. So this bedspread while I traveled to Beijing and Shanghai six years ago. And uh, that was a silent trip that I had with my husband. At that point of time, we were just dating, dating. We were not uh, married. And uh, that's when I picked up this beautiful bed sheet. And this has lived with us ever since then. Again, it's Versace. And it's worth it because these things last us at least for 10 years or 15 years. Depends on how you maintain them. And this is just a bed spread. It's not like a bed sheet. It's just an over cover for your bed sheet. So it just adds on the glamour, much needed glamour into your life, into your room. It's worth it. <laughs> So this is the final segment of my house where how organized it is. Again, my wardrobe is pretty organized. I have my Indian clothes separate. I have my t-shirt separate. I have uh, my other kurta separate. I have my gym wear separate. And how much of our wardrobe space we have, it ends up being less so. So that's how women are made and uh, one practice I have which I want to tell all my followers also to follow that whatever extra you have at home give it away with a big heart give it away there are many give it to your friends maybe who will use it to the fullest or uh, even uh, give it for a charitable purpose or just give it to the people who need it the most like with me when I give my clothes to my cousins or my friends or even for charitable purpose I ask them how many times will you wear this outfit they tell me I will wear it at least 100 times so I'll be like if you're going to wear it 100 times I think you deserve it more than me 
Like give them outfits. It might be we we as actors have worn it one time or two time or five times, but I have a huge collection. And for me to accommodate these things, I really need space. So I just keep be I believe in keep on giving away my things uh, because if I'm not using it, if somebody else is using it to the fullest, then why not give it away and make somebody else happy? So let me show you my little grand beautiful washroom. So this is my washroom. Again, the washroom is completely dry. The wet area is that side. I have a lovely jacuzzi. I have a lovely dry area over here. And then this is my entire dressing table. Because we are shooting right now. Because of the shoot, I have a lot of cosmetics which are thrown here and there and blah blah blah. But I'm going to uh, make sure that I'm going to do a particular session with all of you where I'm talking in detail. So here are my lineup of cosmetics which I definitely don't want to get into right now because just for me to show you my cosmetics, explain how they work, show you my most favorite products, I think I need another one hour of time to just explain everything that I use. I'm definitely going to do another cosmetic segment. If you liked my home tour, definitely like it, share it and subscribe to this particular YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your love and it was amazing for me to share my beautiful home with you all. I hope you all enjoyed this video as well. Lots and lots of love. Thank you for always being there with me. Thank you for always supporting me.